This video will hopefully aid in your understanding of how to analyze sounds using ImageJ or Fiji Freeware. Open the program. I will be using ImageJ, but the same steps can be followed when you are using Fiji. Go to File, Open, and then choose the image you want to analyze. The Bio Imports Options window will open with different options. If you scroll over option, the information for that option is given in this right panel. For our analysis purpose, we use under Stack Viewing, you choose HyperStack. And then under Color Options, Color Mode, you choose to composite. And then you click to Auto Scale and say OK. Auto Scale ensures that the pixel value of your images relate on the microns. Your image will open. This image needs to be changed into a format that can be analyzed. To do that, you go to Image, Color, Stack to RGB. The original image can be closed. I usually make a duplicate of this image for use later. To do that, you say Ctrl, Shift and D on your keyboard, click OK and then minimizes. The image I'm analyzing today has two fluorescence channels. We used JC1 for staining. The stain indicates early apoptosis. An active mitochondrial membrane potential allows the stain to be drawn into the mitochondria, giving a red fluorescence. If the stain stays in the cytosol, it gives a green fluorescence. If you're analyzing only the length or the width of the cell, you can work off this image, or if you're using one fluorescence channel, you do not need to split the channels, but I need to split the channels. So, in order to do that, go to Image, Color, and then Split Channels. JC1 gives a red and a green fluorescence, so you can close the blue fluorescence channel. You can choose either the red or the green channel to work from. I just usually use the green channel. To, draw, to zoom into your image, you can press the plus sign on your keyboard. To zoom out, you can press the minus sign. To draw the outline of your image, go to your toolbar and then choose the freehand selection tool. Now draw the outline of your cell. Pressing T will open the Roy Manager and will add the cell you've selected to the manager. If you click on it and go to Properties, you can change the color of the line and you can increase the width of the line. You can also fold the cell with a color if you choose to do so. You can also rename your cell. Click on the name and then say rename and then type in the new name you want for that cell. Click OK. To view that name, go to more labels and then choose use names as labels and click OK. Continue analyzing the rest of the cells in your population adding T to the Roy Manager. If you want to analyze just the length of the cell, you can choose the straight line option, draw a line. You can also measure the width. If you use the line tool to draw, the program gives you the length in microns directly. But if you drew the shape, the program uses a ferret method. This method automatically draws a rectangle around your shape and then measures from point A to point B the distance. That ferret is also given in microns. So you can continue for the rest of your population. We exclude cells, for example, over here that's on the edge or the border of your image. And cells that are clustered together makes analysis difficult. You can only analyze the length of these cells as the fluorescence intensities influence each other. Or you can choose to exclude these cells. You can also choose to analyze just your rod-shaped cells or your round-shaped cells. For example, here if you choose your rods or your rounds. There's a plugin you can download load from Google. You just type in Cell Magic Wand Tool. You import it to your plugins. I will show you if you go to Plugins. And then you choose the Cell Magic Wand Tool. And what this tool does, it selects round cells, so you do not have to draw the shape yourself. So you click on the cell, and then the round 
outline will appear. So after selecting all of the cells in your population, you need to set the measurements. So go to Analyze, Set Measurements, and then choose the measurements. We use Area, Center of Mass, Mean Gray Value, Ferrets Diameter, which I have explained. To display label, you redirect to None, the decimal places must be 3, and then you say OK. Select all of the cells in the Web Manager by clicking Ctrl and A, then click Measure. Your results page will open. This page shows the number of cells you've analyzed, the fluorescence channel you're working from, the area of that cell, the mean fluorescence intensity for that cell, and it also shows the ferret for the shape and then the length for, for the straight line you have drawn. So you can copy this data or just say file save as, copy it onto Excel, then you can work out the averages and draw, draw graphs. But I still need to analyze the red channel. You do not need to redraw the measurements. You can just go to analyze and then redirect the measurements you've done. So analyze, set measurements at the bottom, redirect, and you choose the red channel and click OK. So if you go to your Roy manager, select all of the cells and say measure. So in your results page, you will have the red channel added to your results. And this can be copied onto your Excel sheet. I'm not going to save this data today. The final steps is to save the measurements you have done and the outlines onto your RGB image. To do that, you go back to the duplicate you made at the beginning. You redirect what you have done onto this image. So go to Analyze and then Set Measurements and you choose Redirect to your RGB image and say OK. On your Roy Manager, just click Show All and now you see your overlay will appear. You need to flatten the image to be able to save the overlay. If you do not flatten, the overlay will not be saved on your image. So click Flatten on your Roy Manager. Now you can save this image. Go to File, Save As and then choose the format you want. We usually use either TIFF or JPEG format. Okay, just to show you, this is the image I've analyzed. I've compared the lengths to the shape outlines to compare ferret to just the length microns. And this is pretty much how your image will look after you've done the analysis. I have excluded the cluster of cells. Next, you can just close all of the windows that are still open. And then you can follow exactly the same procedure and steps to analyze a new image. So just go to File, Open and choose the new image you want to analyze. I hope this video has made analysis using ImageJ and Fiji a breeze.